Hi friends, in this video, we are going to learn how to use PIC microcontroller and how we can program it. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canitech, do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. The microcontroller we are going to use is PIX16F676. It is a 14-pin flash-based 8-bit CMOS microcontroller. It has 1 kilowatts of flash memory, 64 bytes of SRAM, and 128 bytes of EEPROM. It has 12 I/O pins, 8 10-bit ADC channels, one comparator, and two timers. So this is the pin configuration of PIC16F676. It has two ports, port A and port C. Now let's make a program for it. The software I'm gonna use to program this microcontroller is MicroC Pro for PIC. Let's open it up. First click on New Project. Then click on Next. Now click on Browse and select the location where you want to save your project. Now write the project name. Then select the device which is in our case is 16F676. Now set device clock to 4 MHz. Then click on Next. Now click on Finish. Now go to Project tab and select Edit Project. Now select the oscillator to Internal Oscillator with I.O. function. Then click on OK. Now in the void main loop, write try C equal to 0 and a semicolon. This command will set port C to output. Now write while and in the parentheses, write 1 and then write curly braces. Now in the curly braces, we will write our main code. Now write rc4 underscore bit equal to 0. Then write delay underscore ms and in the parentheses, write 1000 which is equal to 1 second. Now write rc4 bit equal to 1. Then write another 1000 millisecond delay. Now let's click on build. Now our hex file is created in the project folder. Now let's program the chip. To program the chip, I'm gonna use Picket 3 Programmer. Now connect the chip to Picket 3 Programmer like this. Now open Picket 3 software. It will automatically detect the chip. Now go to Fire and select Import Hex. Then go to the Project folder and select the hex file we created. Now click on Write. And our project is done. Now let's see if it works. So as you can see, it is working. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.